welcome you this evening. I have the honor of being the lead pastor here. My name is Lori Sodden, and the church has a 10-year history with the Chapman University Choir. They have been coming here annually, and, and the church is very fond of hosting this choir, and I understand the choir has a, a fondness for this place as well. So we are delighted to welcome them back. Uh, of course, many of them are newer students who have never been here before. But I want to uh, applaud from personal experience the quality of an education at Chapman University. I was on their campus for four years as the mom of a Chapman student who <laughs> is uh, happily graduated and employed in his uh, chosen profession. So we are delighted to have them and we welcome Dr. Stephen Coker back and appreciate his leadership of the choir. So thank you for coming tonight and enjoy the music. Sacred music. These two guys wrote on pretty much the same text. 
Ich bin das Brot des Lebens, or ego sum kami libus. I am the bread of life. Whoever eats of this shall never die. We'll link these two together without fault.
Oh. 
section from folk music or, or music that's influenced by folk uh, elements. Uh, this is Zomar song. It's a Swedish piece that is almost the second national anthem of Sweden, uh, at least in choral circles over there. And it is a hymn to God and thanks for all of the greenery that decorates our earth. And so that's why I wanted to do it tonight. Uh, we will uh, have soloists in the second verse, Joey Krumbach. Hughes. We have a pair listed in the program. We will do the second of that pair, Fire. Um, our accompanist that is hidden back in the back is our <laughs> beloved Dr. Hey Young Kim, and she will be joined by uh, one of our students who is a double major in the vocal performance and uh, keyboard collaborative arts. That will be Evangeline Jojana. Fire.
like we have any alums out in the audience? <laughs> yes, why don't we begin at the back? You guys, would you stand and tell us what class you graduated from? <laughs> so this could be dangerous. Okay, Miss Black Vest. this on? Oh, wow, it is. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Noah Rulison. I am the student president of the Chapman University Singers, who you see right behind me. Uh, now, I know that a decent amount of you are either alumni or very familiar with this choir, having seen us come here many times over the years. I know that I came here my freshman year, and it was a, just a wonderful experience. Um, but while we are here, we are on a sort of a recruiting tour. We're going to different high schools and visiting their choir classrooms and sort of seeing uh, who would be interested in joining our music program. And I'd sort of like to do the same thing with you. If not, then I'll just update you about what's happening on campus. So to start off, uh, very recently we opened up the Moose Coast Center for the Arts. If you haven't heard of it, it's a beautiful new performing arts center that we opened in May of 2016, I believe. Um, just a beautiful place. Uh, we, uh, as the students of the College of Performing Arts, get to, get to perform there many, many times a semester. I know that when we come back uh, from the Bay Area, we're going to have a post-tour concert there, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but we also get to see great performances there as well. Uh, LA Opera likes to come there a decent amount. We get to see Placido Domingo. Uh, several times a year, which is always fun. Uh, we also get to see uh, many modern artists. I think uh, many people came there as well, including Leslie Odom Jr., who was uh, going around for a while being Aaron Byrne Hamilton and doing different stuff like that. I hear some murmurs in the crowd, yes, good job. <laughs> but uh, to speak more, and we also have the Keck Center for Science and Engineering, which opened up this year, actually, which is great for our STEM majors who are less musically inclined. <laughs> but I know that there are a, a few high school uh, students in the crowd out there somewhere who might be thinking about where they want to go for college, and I would very much recommend Chapman University, especially if you're into the whole choir scene. Uh, our music conservatory is ever expanding, it is ever improving. Uh, we do not have any graduate students, so all the uh, performance opportunities get to go to us undergraduates. Um, uh, choir, raise your hand if you have either had a solo in choir or a role in opera. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, 
it, we just have a ton of uh, performing opportunities and uh, not, not to also mention that uh, we are also very involved with our extracurricular activities, so I know that a lot of us have directed uh, our own student-run productions of, of musicals and theater uh, plays and different things like that. In fact, all of our a cappella groups this year, our student-run a cappella groups are going to ICCAs, the competition that was seen in the movie Pitch Perfect. Yeah, I hear some murmurs, good, good. But uh, that is, this is all to say that I know that some can be scared by the fact that we are a private institution, but fear not, Chapman is wonderful with financial aid. Uh, we offer uh, many, many different types of scholarships from government to merit-based to talent-based. Um, so if you have any uh, high school relatives or friends or know of people who are applying to college in general, uh, you can tell them that there is just an abundance of opportunities, both performing-wise, financial-wise, uh, for an ever-expanding campus at Chapman. Uh, just to prove it to you, uh, choir, how many of you are in some kind of financial aid? <laughs> Very nice. So, if any of you are ever in the Orange County area, we'd love to have you come and watch, uh, whether it's the University Singers, the University Choir, uh, the theater program. I know that uh, the Dodge uh, Campus has been uh, putting out some pretty good alumni who've done things like Stranger Things and um, whatever's on Netflix these days. <laughs> I know that our, uh, personally, that our, our music graduates have gone on to do great things. Uh, for example, um, many of our uh, uh, vocal performance grads end up uh, going to the Metropolitan Opera Council uh, finals. So that's pretty cool. Maybe one of you will someday. We'll see. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> let, let, let's not go too far. I still have to work on the whole public speaking thing. <laughs> um, but please, we are, as Dr. Croker said, we are having a reception immediately following the concert. If any of you would like to know more about uh, what's happening at Chapman, how to get onto our uh, application list for you high schoolers out there, it is too late to apply through the Common App but we can get you started with a late application that will get sent to the university. Um, but in any case, we would love to, uh, to talk to you more after the reception. And that's pretty much all I have. I'm gonna hand it over to Dr. Coker now. Do we actually have any high school people in the audience tonight? What high school? Did we, would you stand and tell us what high school you're attending? I'm Santa Rosa High, and Miss Bombache is your teacher, and she's been very kind to our program over the years. And uh, delighted you're here. Are you interested in going into music, perhaps? Great. <laughs> you need to come see us at the reception. We'll give you a, a, a bag full of money. Uh, <laughs> Our next piece that, uh, that we're going to do is kind of weird. Um, I, uh, the internet is a wonderful thing. I was on sabbatical last year, which is why I did not see you last year when the concert took place here. But I got to go to South Africa, uh, among some other places, and picked up some pieces. A South African choir was doing this piece from Indonesia which is Dawn to Dusk, the name of the piece, and uh, basically is a programmatic work, just simply taking one through the beginnings of dawn and the sunshine and then teeming activity of all sorts of uh, people and insects and fowl, and then returning back into the sleepiness of the night. Fajar Dan Senja, Dawn to Dusk. So is Evangeline Jojana, who is of Indonesian descent.
I'm a sophomore vocal performance major. My name is Danny Sanchez. I'm a sophomore vocal performance major. My name is Brooke Whitmire, and I'm a senior psychology major. I sat down with consultants in South Africa, some luminaries in the business, and a, uh, a man by the name of Sigumo Nyamazele uh, taught me this. Do it like this. of this special time of year, we reflect upon our lives and our hopes for the future. When it sometimes seems that there may be more darkness than light, may we summon the loving kindness and courage to bring positive change to our community. May we find a quiet strength to continue in the face of doubt and sadness. We seek freedom from our fears and worries, freedom for each person, Freedom for us all.
concert, and so we go from the sublime to the ridiculous now. <laughs>
Thank you so very much um, for the gifts that we are about to receive at that reception and for the chance to come back here. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell the story again. I, I just told the kids that 10 years ago when we were here, uh, it was uh, just a day or two or three after the terrible Haitian earthquake that killed over 100,000 people. And we actually, this choir had uh, a piece of Haitian music in its folder in the fall, but we didn't bring it. And plus, we didn't bring about four percussionists that we needed to do it. But uh, the images from there on the television just struck us and, and me so that I asked the choir, could you do that piece tonight? And they said, what, where are we going to get the percussionists? I, I don't know. So just follow my lead. And I, we turned to this number, and I asked, you know, the first five rows, get out your keys and jingle them right here. And then you guys over there, hit your chest. And, you know, we made an orchestra out of the audience, and there was just something special in the air. Um, it was kind of silly in a way, but it was meaningful as well. And, and, and it just uh, crescendoed into this whirlwind of... of fun but also meaning and and there was tumultuous applause and we did part of it again as we left the sanctuary so that's that was my uh, my first year at chapman university and it was in this church i uh, i i know we're not methodists we're sort of disciple of christ but i sort of feel um uh, a connection with you guys akin to that i myself am methodist so is that you know get me any cred and Anyway, uh, we'll end tonight's program with a, a spiritual I Can Tell the World by Moses Hogan. But before we do that, uh, we have just a tiny little bit of Chapman swag for the senior minister. So, Laurie Sodden, will you uh, front and center, please? <laughs> Thank you so very much. We, 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 we need to teach her the ropes she, she has to learn. So go get her again. And we're, oh, the, back, 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 back. We got a little tradition, so just follow. Okay. Okay, my job is in trouble. Uh, is your minister of music here tonight or worship arts? Uh, we would like you to also have a little bit of Chapman swag too. And I hope things are going so very well for you. I'm Steve Coker.
got joy that morning when the baby boy that morning when he blessed me.
We, in, we invite you all to the reception. As you go out the sanctuary, you can...